I believe that it's very important that information that you get from direct-to-consumer genetic tests should not be considered in isolation. It has to be considered in conjunction with other information relating to your age, your lifestyle, your diet, in exactly the same way that when you go to your GP and they're trying to diagnose you, they don't just try and measure one thing, they consider that in conjunction with lots of other information so that they can make the right choice about the appropriate treatment regime. And so in exactly the same way, you have to interpret information from direct to consumer genetic testing in conjunction with all of the other information about yourself, and then that will help you make informed decisions about whether this information really can provide some useful insights that might alter your lifestyle.